Hello, my Pisces. This is Magic D, Magician Tarot. This is your fellow merman, Bloop Bloop. I am also a Pisces, so let's figure out what's up with us for our monthly November 2018 Tarot Truth Prediction. Ooh, it's got the Magician card at the bottom of the deck. So, beginning of the month, deciding that it is time to manifest, okay? Definitely feeling like at the beginning of the month, renewed sense can do. Oh yeah, here we go. We got ourselves a Knight of Swords. Okay, and then we also, though, uh, first month, maybe still having a little bit of problems as far as the whole truth not being revealed, or maybe you not being truthful with yourself, not really telling the truth. A lot of yellow here. Not really telling the truth of what you actually want to do. So, some sort of stall, some sort of snag there. Oh, it's a wand. Okay, so we got an ace of wands that's in reverse. Uh, end of the first week. Knight of pentacles in reverse. Not really taking your time. Second week in November. Oof. Okay, queen of wands. Being a little bit insincere. A little bit rude not that she's not being truthful or whoever this person is whoever this queen of wands is this fire sign but she may be telling you something out of anger okay and then we have hmm okay uh the devil in reverse interesting so there could be some sort of temptation coming at you in terms of a fire sign female energy or uh, more feminine energy she could be having not the best intentions but you're definitely going to see that off the bat okay and then we have another queen of pentacles so an earth sign um also not really coming at you with the with the uh not not being generous so this is a Cancer, I'm sorry, uh, a Taurus, Capricorn, or um, some sort of feminine energy that, or a boss maybe, or um, for some of you guys, this is an ex-lover or somebody that's going to cut you off and just be like, all right, that's enough. So uh, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, why am I blanking? A Virgo. So a Virgo and a Leo or uh, some other fire sign, two different female energies, or maybe like, I don't know, some sort of like assistant manager if it's a work thing. And then lastly, Ten of Swords. So coming up on the end of a particular cycle, possibly of a job. Ooh, okay, and then a nine. So we have doom and despair at the end of the month, at the end of November. Why? Okay, a couple cards jumped out here. We got a five of wands. We have a three of swords in reverse. Like, I'm getting that, like, you have pretty much had enough for these two people are. Um... Six of Swords ready to move on. Maybe it's just going to be the end of whatever the cycle is here. Okay, but you have to come to, you have a decision to make with this Two of Swords here. And then Pisces, we also have the Four. Okay, so definitely some sort of Aries here. Maybe the situation is going to turn around with this Aries. We also have a High Priestess card by the end of the month. And we also have Transformation. So... You might be the one that has to cut these two people off or say, I've had enough of this. If this is two different jobs, two different people, two different lovers, and just say, like, um, I'm really over this. I don't want to do this anymore. 
maybe two different paths that you just completely decided to turn around and take a third path. Let's see. Let's do a little bit of reflection with a parallel deck and see if we get anything repeated here. Okay. So we do have... We do have, though, a water sign queen. So there are three queens here. Woman kind of emotions, woman kind of sensations, and woman kind of uh, wands. Out of the three, this person, she, or they might all be male, it doesn't really matter what the gender is, but of these three people, they all definitely do have the same gender, or you see them all as like the same sort of potential. Um, we got a Libra card or a Justice card in reverse, so whatever's going on might not be fair. It might make you feel like it's not great. You might feel like you, at the end of the month, are too poop to poop. Not even feeling brokenhearted. Um, but you need to cut it out anyway for some reason. So you have a Two of Swords. You have a, a Justice card in reverse. We have an Ace of Wands in reverse. A Queen of Wands in reverse. But we have a fellow water sign, or you yourself here represented as the Queen of Cups. We have either a Gemini or yourself, if you are a Pisces that's a manifest, uh, somebody that believes in manifestation, that's you. So by the end of the month, you're going to need to rally back to that feeling. Rally back to whoever, if there is a Knight of uh, Swords in your life, it could be an air sign that if this card is in a Libra in reverse, this could be somebody that you're um, that's working really hard for your for your cause. It could be on your team. But then you also have a Knight of Pentacles who's in opposition to that. So a lot of mixed messages here. So what's going on? Okay, beginning, let's recap. Beginning of November, an urge to manifest. An air sign kind of on your side, or you taking the uh, taking a more honest look and seeing that you're not manifesting this new Ace of Wands opportunity. Possibly because there's a decision that you haven't really made yet you're putting off. In regards to this justice in reverse, you feel like stuff is not fair. You have a devil card in reverse in regards to this fire sign. This queen of wands. And you have a knight of pentacles in reverse. Okay, you have to be both logical and also a little bit psychic when it comes to... This is the Emperor when it comes to an Aries. So if there is something that you're holding out on or waiting to see if it's going to pan out with this fire sign, I'm seeing that there's definitely going to, you're going to be like either rejected or you're going to reject them in favor of this more watery, I'm getting like more hippy dippy concert going kind of like more creative person with either a lot of water in their chart or it could be a water sign themselves. Um, and you're going to need to struggle and fight and move on in this feeling of doom and this feeling of despair that I think is related to some sort of either like emotional or creative like constipation all right five of wands you need to be competitive definitely but then also transformation so you have the death card and you have the devil card in reverse hmm. so near the end of the month coming to a realization that you have to change by cutting out 
either you're getting over your feelings of depression or bringing an end to an indecision. Some of you guys might be trying to make a decision with this two of swords between the uh, fire sign and this earth sign. And I think it's the earth sign that's going to run out of patience, run out of persistence. Or if you're trying to decide between two different jobs, between one that's creative and one that's more of uh, kind of like a sure thing or whatever, the one that seems like a sure thing might not actually be the sure thing. So in the end, when you decide that you want to change and transform, that's going to be the first thing that you cut out is whatever that you're not an earth creature. You know, you might not get along with this. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, shoot. Okay, so could be a fire sign in a Capricorn or a Taurus or a Virgo that Okay, um Okay, if you have a friend that is a fire sign, that is an Aries you have a friend or a Sagittarius that is also, uh, it could be uh, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Both those people are going to be a catalyst in your transformation for sure. Because they're going to want you to grow up. You got a Six of Cups in reverse. You also have your three. Of swords in reverse but you do have a ten of swords and you do have a nine of swords so something about somebody maybe you knew when you were 19 or something that you went through when you were 19 okay this month not a lot of forward movement for you my Pisces and I'm trying to see why I wonder why. Perhaps because there's not this, you haven't put an end to something. You haven't killed it yet. Okay, 13. Okay. 19. Maybe 2019. So whatever you're waiting for to manifest, and, and I think it has to do with work, it's not going to come forth until 2019. And right now this is a time of study for you. Hermit card. Connecting with yourself, connecting with the Virgo. <laughs> because what's just and what's meant for you is not coming around. Or whatever you're hoping to manifest with um, money or with something like that is not coming at you until 2019. So you're going to need to really hold on tight. For November. Let's get one more. High Priestess. Okay. Now is the time to sharpen your skills in magic. Because. I see either a lot of enemies around. Or people that you have to convert to your team. For this month. You're going to need to make believers out of them. And the release. The end of a certain phase or a situation. So. Perhaps a childhood dream that you let die with the Six of Cups, you need to re reevaluate, resurrect. And whatever you were trying to be and it wasn't working out, let's say you were trying to be more like a fire sign that you look up to. Let's say you were trying to be more of a justice, of a, you know, like social justice person. Or let's say you were trying to be more like uh, about your money, about your pinnacles. You need to release those falsehoods. Right now is not a time to fake it to make it. All right, my Pisces? That is your November 2018. And a lot of cards came out here, but I would not be disheartened because there is... is hope there's hope for a transformation do not lose hope
Wherever you don't see eye to eye with someone, you may need to take a leap of faith or let it go. Don't force it. All right? Don't force either a job. Don't force a relationship. Because in the end, what you really want is a ritual union and some sort of marriage routine. And I think that is going to come to you when you stop trying to force it. Empress is here, but also life experience. <sighs> Wrapping up this year is going to be difficult, Pisces. But lavish abundance and marriage is coming your way 2019. Not now. You need to wait. You need to reevaluate the dreams. You need to get into your magic and get back into discipline. Definitely want to be more like. The Knight of Swords, when it comes to creativity, just start it. Get back to the things you used to love to do as a kid. Listen to your friends. They're going to be able to help you. All right. A lot of cards in reverse, and I think that's just the consequence of the indecision that you've been feeling, my Pisces. Okay, if you need more about this, contact me. Okay, Magic Demon, Magician Tarot. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to be like the eagle when you feel the wind. Deuces.